y'all welcome back to another weekly vlog so i am headed out i got my trench coat on girl i got my trench coat on because it is raining out here i did not expect for it to be kind of rainy today it didn't even say like it was gonna rain or maybe i didn't pay attention i don't know so anyway i am on my way out of here um despite it being rainy so i just kind of slicked my hair back and a ponytail real quick um, I'm kind of sad because I straightened it and since it's raining it's like you know whatever but I have some things to do so I wanted to get a birthday cake for myself uh, somewhere either a birthday cake or a cupcake or something cute because I did want to still take my pictures even though my original plan fell through um, when it came to selecting a background to take my pictures I had it planned to go um, to an Airbnb that I had found and then you know just everything just kind of fell through so we're just gonna do my photo shoot at home and that's what I normally do normally I would do it at home anyway um, I already have my dress and my shoes and everything that I wanted to wear um, I didn't really know what theme I was going to do uh, besides the green color I wanted a green and like I said you know my plans fell through so that's okay we'll just make it work I take pictures every year and I'm not gonna give up um, or I'm not going to give that up, you know, I just feel like it's something fun. I love posting pictures on Instagram every once in a while. So my birthday is something that, you know, I like to capture and document. So I'm going to do it, girl. I'm not going to let that discourage me. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to come up with something and we're going to make it work with what we have. So anyway, I need to go get a birthday cake or a cupcake or something nice. Um... I also need to stop at the beauty supply because all of the stuff that I put in my hair to slick my hair back all the time, girl, my brushes get so disgusting, like my hair brushes. So I need to buy another cheap little hair brush and another cheap little um, baby hair brush as well as some lash glue. I feel like I don't have any more eyelash glue. It's like kind of dried up, so I need some more clear lash glue. And I'm gonna have lunch today. And girl, like I literally, um, or I'm gonna go out for lunch today because normally I would cook, but I'm gonna go out for lunch today because I found a completely out of nowhere list on Yelp of like the best places here in Virginia to eat. And like I found this gourmet burger place, girl. Now, stop. stop. You guys know I've lost so much weight and I've been on my health tip. But girl, the gourmet burgers I have to try because they just looked so good with like sweet potato fries. Like, uh, like, and it just opened. It's about 11 o'clock right now and it just opened. So I'm about to go visit that place. But right now I am actually about to go drop off another order. Um, I already went this morning to drop off my uh, Poshmark orders at USPS. I like to go when it first opened, uh, but I got another order and they, they didn't make the cutoff time because my times for shipping same day is if you order it before 7 a.m. in the morning, I'll ship it the same day. So, uh, normally the other orders that are after 7 a.m. that'll be the next day but I'm off I'm not doing anything and it's a Poshmark order I kind of like to ship out my Poshmark orders right when I get them because you know Poshmark does not release your funds until you get them or until the person gets them and also I like on my little Poshmark about me page because like you know how Posh on your little account it has like the about the brand or whatever mine says same day ship girl <laughs> it's the same day ship so i want to keep that so i'm gonna go ahead and ship this person's order out right now and yeah so that's the plan for today so let's get going okay girl so i finally made it here oh my god the drive was so long i feel like this place is like where i purchased my jeeps like way far out in a town called portsmouth but it's spelled Portsmouth, but people are telling me no, it's Portsmouth. It's it's literally spelled P O R T S M O U T H, like Portsmouth. But I mean Portsmouth. I don't know, girl. <laughs> I think it's because I'm from California and I enunciate my words, you know. So same thing with Nor Norfolk. They say it's Norfolk. I'm like, what? but girl anyway so i finally made it and it was really far but it looks like it's worth it because girl i have to show you guys these burgers if these burgers 
are the same as the picture, girl, you get thank me later, okay? burger what is this called gourmet burger bistro stop playing with me girl stop playing with me it was so delicious like that sauce whatever sauce it was it was like it was kind of spicy but it was tangy it tasted like i don't know i can't even explain it girl they called it dripping sauce and yeah it was dripping <laughs> it was dripping okay I, I made a complete mess it got all over my ring my hands i had to go wash my hands girl Please stop playing with me. They said they have happy hours. Fridays from 4 to 8. I might come here this Friday and see what the happy hour is about. Because they got a cute little space in the back where you can sit. I know you guys saw it was like cute. A little bit of drinks and a nice burger. I'm going to try another burger. Girl. that See, and this is why I stay in the gym. Because I, I just, I love food. That's why I'm a big Yelpy. And even though Yelp isn't like all food there's other things too that you find but it's mostly food you know like i'm a foodie girl i'm definitely a foodie so i'm gonna eat me some food <laughs> period even though i didn't lost a good 13 pounds girl but i think i lost more because of my tooth the the three days that it was hurting i didn't barely eat anything so i probably lost some more and i've been using my waist trainer and i've been in the gym girl so you know what another burger wouldn't hurt me <laughs> okay another burger wouldn't hurt me and the people were so nice. I think it's black owned, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's black owned. I think that's what the um the person in the front told me. But I'm not sure. But girl, if you guys were ever in Portsmouth or P Town, you should visit Gourmet Burger Bistro, okay? Because if you're a fellow burger lover like me, you're definitely gonna love that. So anyway, taking my jacket off or my trench coat so I can get comfortable for the long ride home and since I have had lunch and now I'm comfortable because I was starving girl I was so starving oh and this fruit juice it's called yum yum fruit juice it tastes like they don't they didn't tell me what it's in it because I guess it's a secret but it tastes like I don't know like a cross between cranberry and raspberry or something it's some type of juice it's really really good though they should put this stuff on the market but anyway so since i have a long ride home i'm gonna go home go back on my side of town i'm gonna go to um i guess i'll go i guess i'll go to the beauty supply first i'll go to the beauty supply first to get what i need from there and then i'll start looking for me like a cake or something so 
yes period i'm about to turn on my radio and listen to her because i think she's online right now and i'll pick you guys back up when i am actually um at the beauty supply behind me knowing that I was gonna show y'all girl okay so I came up on some goodies at the beauty supplier girl um first of all the baby hair brush girl normally they have better baby hair brushes than these but the other ones they had had like a rat tail comb on the bottom and I don't like that I like the one with the little comb at the bottom because I feel like I need the comb if I really want to do some stuff you know even though you barely see me do baby hairs like if I want, if I really want to do some cool baby hairs, I need this part. So I had to get this one. I don't really like the brush. It's too. First of all, ooh, look at that. It's like dirt coming out of it. So I'm gonna have to wash it. But um, I don't like how it's not hard enough. Normally they have hard bristles. And same thing with the brush. Like, so I found a brush. But they didn't have those regular ghetto brushes. You know, the regular ghetto brushes with the different colors and they're like clear with different colors or something. The handle, that's the one I wanted. It's, I love hard brushes because, you know, I need to slick my hair back. So the only hard brush they had was this one. And it was $4.99, girl. Normally the little clear, the little ghetto brushes I'll be talking about, they're only like a dollar or something. But this one was $4.99 and it comes with a comb too. So, I mean, I have plenty of combs, but... I guess we can use it and it's just I don't know it's just not as hard as I would like it to be next thing I got was some argon oil um, I got a little one they had a big one as well but I decided to try a little one because normally for um, argon oil I get the organic cold press one I buy it from this person on eBay called cream selling and I'll put the link down below he has like all organic um, oils for hair cooking anything um, he he sells the dr. adorable version and so I just ran out because I've been doing those rice water rinses girl every um Friday on my hair and then after I do the rice water rinse I'll take my conditioner and mix it with some argon oil and so I don't have any more argon oil so um, it's gonna take a while for you know ebay to ship it and i won't get it by friday because today is what wednesday so i wanted to kind of keep on my little regimen with my hair so i ended up buying argon oil just a little bit just to last me until my other one gets here um then i bought this this was something i wasn't expecting to buy it's a tea tree mint scalp treatment it was 9.99 so it's kind of expensive but um i need something i feel like for my scalp because i feel like my scalp just be so dry and itchy like especially like I, like in the middle of the night i feel like it gets itchy so i'm willing to try anything so i'm gonna try this for my scalp because i've been spraying um luster's pink oil on it it's supposed to be a scalp oil and it's just not working girl i don't know i don't know if it's because i am um doing this rice treatment but i mean my my scalp has always been dry and kind of itchy so i don't know girl i don't know what's going on um could be because of the winter time too you know it's cold here and then also stuff that i didn't need girl well i needed this lash glue and this is a different lash glue normally i get the kiss brand but they didn't have the kiss um clear brand this one is called grip bone and it has biotin in it for, I mean, 
I guess for your lashes to grow, girl, but we know my little puny lashes, they ain't growing. So I, I, I've been put all kind of stuff on these lashes, girl. They ain't growing. That's why I need lashes. So um, I also found some lashes, unnecessary stuff that I didn't need, girl. But I just felt like these lashes was really, really cute. So this one is um, supposed to be real mink. Look how they look. Aren't they cute? I really like how they're just so fluffy. You know I like big wonky lashes, girl. And then this one is like kind of kind of light but then fluffy at the same time. I don't know if you guys can see with the sun glaring, but yeah. I thought those were cute just to add to my lash drawer. Um I'm currently cleaning out my makeup room so I can show you guys cuz it is a mess. I have like inventory and stuff in there. I'll probably um I don't know if I'm going to film it tonight, but I wanted to film like kind of an idea because I get a lot of people that ask me, um, how do I store my makeup? Because I have so much makeup. I have an entire room dedicated to my makeup. But now, it's like kind of my storage for my brand, too. So, um, I was supposed to put this in the last vlog, girl. I think I said I was going to put my beauty room in the last vlog, but I just couldn't. It was just so much. I, I did so much last week. I normally like to keep my vlogs an hour and no longer than like an hour, you know? Uh, so I'm just gonna include it in this vlog so you guys will see that you guys will see my um, beauty room and I have an entire drawer of just lashes I probably need to refill it because I've been wearing a lot of lashes lately and then not reusing them I've been throwing them away because I've been buying like synthetic mink and not real mink lashes but um, I'll just show you guys like the gist of how I store my makeup in this vlog so anyway um, so we're done with the beauty supply. I forgot that I needed to get dinner, girl, for everybody at home. So it's like about 2.30. I don't think anyone has made it home yet. At least that's what my camera has said. But normally, I don't get started to dinner. Because if I was at work, I don't get home till like 5 o'clock anyway. So I don't normally start dinner till late. But um, I need to get them dinner. I need to make dinner because, like, I'm the only one that ate, girl. I'm the only one that ate. I ate the gourmet burger. And I don't think I'm going to eat anything after that because it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot of fries. It was a lot of burger. I don't think I'm going to eat dinner. I might eat a little bite. So I think I'm going to get like, I don't know, some, some meat and maybe some beans. We already have lettuce, tomato, maybe some salsa, some more sour cream. And we'll just make, I'll just make burritos for everybody because we still have these, um, tortillas we still have these tortillas that we need to eat so i'll we'll probably make burritos with that so yeah girl let's get going um to the store and then we'll see if i can find me a birthday cake so i'm currently in line right now to get my car valeted because i wanted to have breakfast at this place called the bee and the biscuit that i saw on yelp it has some really cool lattes but girl i don't know if i'm gonna be able to because literally it's packed literally Stand right here, we'll just come back. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. The restaurant said it's going to be a good 45-minute wait. So, ooh, and it is so cold out here. So, I'm about to go under this cabana here. So, this is where I'm seated right here. Right here, and it is so cold. And like I was waiting outside because they valeted my car, so I can't like go out to my car and sit. So, girl, I'm like mm, having second thoughts. So, hopefully, it doesn't take too long. But I wanted to come here because um, today is the day after my birthday. And I just wanted to come here and have some breakfast. I didn't want to cook, girl. I just wanted to be out in the mix um, for my birthday. I took pictures. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys seen them already. Or at least one, because I'll post a new one every day. Look, look at my breath. You see my breath? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so cold and, like, rainy. Anyway, um... So like I said, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen 
uh, my pictures already so I posted them I didn't go out because it was like raining so hard yesterday or on my birthday so it is what it is because I wanted to go out for dinner but I told my husband I was like forget it it's raining too hard so I'm just treating myself to a nice little um, breakfast this morning and then my husband bought me um, a Sephora gift card at $75 so I wanted to go spend it today if I can find something I've been looking for the Clinique's rinse off foaming um, face wash I might have to order online but I'm gonna actually go in another Sephora that I normally don't go into and we'll see if they have that one there um, so yeah anyway um, I'm currently at this restaurant called the Bee and the Biscuit and it was one of Yelp's top 50 places to have breakfast I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's just so much commotion but anyway um, it's one of Yelp's top 50 places to have breakfast and um, it has these like really cool lattes that are like cereal flavored like Lucky Charms cinnamon toast crunch with the actual cereal on top so I wanted to just kind of experience that so hopefully we'll get in and y'all be able to see it warm in here. Oh my god, look at these little candles. There's some uh, right below you that you can sniff if you want to. Um, oh. All of our scented items are either milk and honey or lavender. Okay. Oh. And local honey. Those are super cute. I was looking at those. Those are super cute. Oh, I got coffee. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, have a great day. You too. It was. It was delicious. Thank you. You guys. So I had an awesome time at breakfast. And girl, I totally recommend that spot. Like if you guys are looking for a really good breakfast spot in Virginia Beach area, like it's called the Bee and the Biscuit. Oh. 
excuse me, girl. I had all that coffee. I had way too much coffee. I had to give um, this girl next to me one of those coffee flights because it was just so much coffee. I wish they would have put like a little bit more rum chata in it, girl, because they were like, um, he decided to put a shot of rum chata in it. Ooh. And it tastes so good, honey. So I'm nice and warm and cozy. <laughs> okay, girl. Um, but anyway, I met a friend, you guys. I met a girl. Her name is Alex. And she likes to go eat food too. She was there for the same purpose I was, just to try it and eat food. Um, I told her like she should do Yelp reviews and she said she does on and off, on and off. But I was like, girl, you need to like do Yelp reviews. Like literally, if you like to do that, um, if you like to go out and eat and like experience new things, just like write a review and then you'll become a league girl and you get to do lots of things. Like, so we were just talking about it and we took each other's number down because she just she had a whole list of food places that she wanted to try because she's not from here either she said she's from north carolina and her and her husband got stationed here as well um so they're in the military i don't know if they're navy like us i think she said army or something but they got stationed here and she's been trying to find places and she had a whole list girl she had a whole list just like me I be having a whole list of places that I just want to try that I compile so she was like girl if you want we can go eat with each other I'm like girl I would love that so like I met a good friend hopefully hopefully a good friend that I can like go try stuff with so like I'm really stoked about that um she asked me where I was going because she was gonna go to Target right here and I was like oh girl I'm about to go to Sephora because I want to spend my gift card or whatever but yeah so I ended up meeting a nice person who was out by herself as well so hopefully that goes good anyway I'm at the gas station right now girl I'm about to give me some gas and because I drove so far even though this place is in Virginia Beach and it's not really far from Chesapeake but it was like low-key far I don't know if it was because um my GPS took me a different way like because I didn't get on the freeway I literally just went all of these back roads and I feel like my GPS does that like I don't know why my GPS takes me on back roads and stuff like that but it had me like on a back road and I seen some really nice like houses and um different like housing communities like I might go back just to look at them I saw this house I think I'm gonna use cash because I have cash i typically don't like to carry cash around because it's like dangerous you know these days but i have cash so i think i'm gonna use this cash for gas but um what was i saying oh i typically like to go visit different housing communities because especially these ones with big huge houses you guys because that's like a part of my manifesting because one day i'm going to build my dream house unless i find one that is exactly that is my that like meets my qualities or like my um requests that I want in a house but like I literally stumbled upon like this housing community and in here and it was called like Greystone because they have like a little sign that says what the community is called Greystone Ugh, it was just so beautiful and this place has like horses I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see like this part has like these these like horses here like it's just so beautiful so anyway, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera on so you guys can see. I'm going to get some gas, and then we're going to head to Sephora. Um, I think I'm going to go to the Sephora inside of a different mall. Because I don't want to go to the Sephora up here. I've been to this Sephora. I don't really like it. So I'm going to go to another Sephora in downtown Norfolk. Um, but let me show you guys these horses. Okay, let me zoom in so you guys can see these horses. Like... It's just like a whole ranch or something over there. Okay, you guys, I made it to the mall. So I'm about to see if they have my Clinique uh, cleanser. And I don't know, maybe shop around. I don't know. We'll see. And I forgot, a Sephora hardly lets you film in there now. So I don't know. I might have to do a sneaky link and give y'all a little bit of clips. I think it's too 
dark. They don't have like hardly any yellow shades anymore. I remember in Makeup Forever I used to have all the yellow shades, girl. It seems like they revamped the whole numbers. I used to be Y455. Now, like, I'm not sure. And this one's 4 in for neutral and it looks orange to me. What is Makeup Forever doing? So, this is the neutral. And these are the yellows. These are the Ys. Like, I feel like this one would be the closest. And that one is 4Y60. So, it's like, like, look at this. What? What? And this is supposed to be neutral. And this is not what neutral to me. I mean, I don't know. This one might work too. But it's just... And it looks like it's drying down too dark. Like, what in the world? Y'all, oh my god, I cannot believe it. Like, what is Makeup Forever doing? I had to pick a totally another shade than I was. Like, girl, anyway, I'm about to go up and lash real quick. expecting to get what I got so at Sephora girl I got the last Clinique all about the clean rinse off foaming cleanser the one that I was talking about so I got the last one and then makeup forever came out with a new foundation and I actually forgot so I'm glad I went into Sephora instead of going online because I would have never saw it so I'm gonna do a review on this I'm girl I am so behind on my makeup reviews. I'm telling you, I bought a ton of makeup last week, but because of my tooth, I didn't get to. But probably this weekend, I'm going to go through and just film what I'm supposed to film. So, um, this one's the new HD Longwear Foundation, I think it's called. No, HD, yeah, HD Skin Longwear Foundation. I can't even talk. <laughs> Girl, I can't even talk. HD Skin Longwear Foundation. And this is, I guess, the foundation that is supposed to replace the um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. That was their original foundation. And let me tell y'all, y'all saw the clips, okay? I literally was in Sephora for like 30 minutes trying shades for this. Because my shade is gone. So my original shade in Makeup Forever's HD foundation was Y455. That was my original color, but for some reason they got rid of that and they only have um, the 60s. They only have um, Y60, Y62, and then 4N. They have neutrals now, which was like 4N60 and 4N62. So I ended up getting 4N62 because it says right here that it's yeah, it equates to Y505, which is not exactly my shade because I was Y455, but I mean, the Y60 was the lightest I could have went, and it still looked really ghastly on me. So, girl, I'm, I'm just curious to, like, what is Makeup Forever doing? Like, I feel like Makeup Forever was the first inclusive foundation brand way before Fenty because, like... Makeup Forever had all of the shades. Like, I'm telling you, like, early 2000s, whenever this foundation came out, I don't know if it's like 2008 or 9, but they had more shades for the brown girls than any company before Fenty, like, way before Fenty. I know Fenty likes to say they did it first, but they didn't, girl. Makeup Forever did it first. 
but they did away with all the shades like i understand they're trying to rebrand and maybe reformulate some stuff but like why would you do that now when you look at the shade range they used to have i think like 46 maybe 50 shades now there's only it looks like i don't know maybe 36 i don't know it just looks very minuscule the shades are jumping from sh like big gaps in shades and i don't like a girl i know i'm supposed to do a review and you know I, I like the formula so far i'll say that trying it on it was creamy it seemed like it was like my skin but like i don't like the fact that they did away with the shades like i i swear i was in there trying like girl i wish i would have filmed it all like i was in there for like literally 20 30 minutes just trying on shades and they kept saying do you need help do you need help the the employees i'm like no girl <laughs> i know what i'm doing it's just that it's so hard to find a shade and then the employees even said they were like yeah a lot of people said they did away with the shades i'm like girl like what is what is makeup forever doing like what are they doing so i don't know I, i'm kind of like mad about this already so i feel like my review is going to be kind of skewed for the fact that my shade is gone and i had to really like try to find a shade and this shade doesn't even seem to be right it says for in for neutral but it looked orange and a little bit dark so girl i don't know we're gonna see but i'm gonna try not to let that biasness spill out into my review i'm gonna try to give it, i'm gonna give it my honest opinion but it just to be honest it just it pissed me off because i was like what, what? i was literally trying all these shades you should have saw me i was a mess and i was just like even on my face and i was just like girl what what is makeup forever doing like what was the reason what was the reason hey what was the reason but anyway anyway girl i went to lush because i want to do one of my ritual baths today um so i decided to buy a bath bomb to go with my other stuff that i put in it so this one is like a deep sleep lavender one Ooh. And it smells so, so good. I wanted something like lavender-y lemon in order to soak. And this, it smells like a cross between lavender and lemon. It's supposed to be deep sleep, so it just smells so, so good. And then I found a new mask. Normally, I get the Mask Minty. No, Mask Magma Minty or whatever because I like the mintiness, especially when I'm going to take a bath or just like self-care or whatever. But they have this new one. I've never seen this one before. I mean, if they had this one before, I've never ran into it. Now, this one's called Don't Look At Me, and it smells like lemon. So, it's it has, um, it says cleansing lemon juice and scrubby ground rice leaf complexions. Oh, no, girl. <laughs> it, it does not say that. I cannot see, like, I cannot see small writing. It says cleansing lemon juice and scrubby ground rice leaves complexion glowing <laughs> girl <laughs> okay but i've never seen this one but it smells so good so fresh so i decided to choose this one because i'm just gonna soak me in a little bath today girl um i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and i'm gonna scan my receipts because y'all know the fetch app is it if you guys don't have the fetch app not sponsor a girl but they need to sponsor me because i shout them out all the time if you guys don't have the fetch app get the fetch app so you can scan all of your receipts and get points back and then at the end when you save all your points you can get you a 50 dollars gift card girl I, this is like literally probably my third or fourth 50 dollars gift card i've literally had so many i save up all my points until i have enough for a 50 dollars gift card and then spend it right back <laughs> so it's helpful because you save money and then they have thousands of gift cards. Or you can just get a cash gift card, like a Visa or an Amex, I think. Like, I love Fetch Rewards. So, I'm going to put my code down in the description box below. So, if you guys sign up and you scan your first receipt, you'll get 2,000 points. And I'll get 2,000 points, girl. Okay? Put you guys on. So, anyway. Um, I'm about to season this taco meat because I'm going to make these kids some tacos. Or like a burrito, the rest of the burritos that we have. I just need to make some more ground beef. And then I'm going to set up and get ready for my bath. Because it's getting late. It's like 4 o'clock, girl. I've been out all day. <laughs> I've been out all day just doing me on a Friday. I'm going to show you guys my beauty room. Since I'm in here now, I know you guys wanted to see like how I store my makeup. 
So I'm in here and I just finished uh, packing an order. So that's the order right there. And this is just some new stuff. Like this is the new makeup. You guys saw me in this vlog purchase. This is the Morphe concealer. This is the new um, uh, Makeup Forever foundation. So I haven't put this stuff up yet. And then this is an order from e.l.f. Let me see. This is e.l.f.'s new Power Play uh, primer. Oh god, I forgot Elf has this complicated box that they put everything into. Okay, so this is their new uh, Power Play primer that's supposed to be like a dupe for Makeup Forever, you guys. I mean, not Makeup Forever, um, Milk Makeup's Hydro Grit Primer. So this is just some of the new new that I haven't been able to um, put up yet necessarily. So that's why this is here, girl, just here. And then this is something that I use um, in my studio downstairs when I do makeup reviews behind my, like, colored background. So I, I just washed all my brushes. I'll show you guys. They're on my dresser. And I'm starting to put some of them back in here so I can put it downstairs where my studio is. So that's where we're at. So this is... This is my bed. Well, this is a bed because it doubles as a guest room too when people come. I'm going to start with this drawer first. Um, this is just where like my perfume goes and like just like some of my jewelry and some of my like unnecessary jewelry. I found this cute little like shopping cart. Isn't this cute? Like unnecessary earrings and stuff. I have like a real jewelry box but like girl stuff is just everywhere <laughs> so um because you guys know I move around and stuff I'm a military wife so I really don't have dedicated spaces so this is like my space so this is um the first drawer I go to um this has all of my eyelashes and makeup palettes mostly in here and this is actually becoming really really full so I'm gonna show you guys um so this is my uh, eyelash drawer has everything to do with my eyelashes I need to refill it because as you can see it's missing because like I've been using my lashes and haven't been restocking so these are all of my um falsies they always go in here and then these are my falsie tools and these drawers here like I said there's just all makeup palettes so girl look just a bunch of makeup palettes, eyeshadow, blush, highlighters. I mean, filled all the way to the bottom, you guys. Look at this. I really need to, like, declutter. But this is, like, pretty much the stuff that I use. Um, Normally, the stuff that I don't use, I'll get rid of or I'll gift to somebody. But this is pretty much the stuff that I use. And some of this stuff I don't want to, like, um, throw away because I just feel like they're collectors. I don't know. I'm, like, a makeup collector, girl. So, look. Look, girl, the drawer is filled all the way to the bottom. Like, ridiculous, right? First drawer. And then moving to the last drawer on this side. These are more makeup palettes. Same. All the way down to the bottom. It's just filled up with palettes, eyeshadow palettes, lip palettes. Um, just all of my bigger palettes down there. So now moving to the actual big drawers, um, I don't know if I should turn on the light or should I leave it with the natural lighting. I was waiting for the sun to come out, girl, but the sun is obviously not going to come out. It's already 1 o'clock and it's still gloomy and um, rainy outside. Maybe I'll turn on the light just so we can have a little bit more lighting. So, um, sorry if the lighting is bad, you guys. So this is where all of my foundations primers and um kind of like body stuff but i'll go through it with you guys and then i'll show you guys back here is like where some of my skincare stuff is um and then like extras of things and there's like some primers down here as well like it's just a matter of having space <laughs> so because as you can see there's hardly any space anymore i think i'm going to buy another three tier shelf and then just have it for my primers and things so my primers and sprays and stuff are getting out of control as you can see it's just out of control but anyway so we'll go down the line <clears throat> these are the foundations that i use pretty much the most so they're up top here and i try to put them in order the merit is new so that's why the merit is there because normally the stick foundations would be over here 
but girl it's new and we're limited on space so i had to place them to there but as you can see i kind of have them in order so this is nars all the nars stuff there huda beauty morphe and then uh, morphe skin tint down there it should be down here with the skin tints but girl like i said <laughs> it's a space thing um morphe again we have laura mercier and juvia's place huda sticks uh my favorite minted cosmetics and then we have pat mcgrath back here maybelline that's new so i just stuck that um over there and most of these are new because you guys know within the year well last year i did reviews on these so they just kind of got stuck here um, Beauty Blender, we have ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Foundation Hiding behind there, Urban Decay, Hydromaniac, some more Huda, Sephora's Clean Foundation, Beauty Blender's new um, skin tint there, and then I have Clinique. This one is pretty new. I did this within, I think, three months, so I just kind of stuck that there, and also um lawless i love this one by the way so i wish i could put this one up up here but like like i said girl space so let me explain um this to you so let me get a good angle here so you guys can see okay so these are primers here and then i do have some behind there like i showed you guys but these are pretty much the primers that i use like on a like not on a daily but like kind of like something that I reach for a lot so these are the primers on this side here and then in the middle here is like kind of body care body makeup type of stuff like this stuff is Melanie Mills I don't know if you guys know what Melanie Mills Gleam is um, Melanie Mills makes these they're kind of like body makeup or like kind of body lotion but it's like shimmer and it just kind of hides your body flaws and gives you a nice shimmer. I like stuff like that, um, especially when I'm going out and I want to wear a dress and look sparkly. So I have all kinds of um, sprays like the Patrick Ta, a big, huge Melanie Mills Gleam one, um, ColourPop Soul Body makes some awesome dry oils for the body. And also I have like my cuticle oil right here. But that's pretty much um, for the body stuff there. I used to have like some body highlighting sticks but I threw them away like some of the foundations are gone as well because I just did a declutter one to the sprays these are my um, primers or not primers but like sprays that I like to spray my face with most of them are mattifying because you guys know naturally I'm oily so I like an oily um or oily girl friendly spray and most of the oily girl friendly sprays are by slay I love slay sprays you guys they are just like the most mattifying spray ever i just love them so much and they come in all kinds of nice little flavors and smells then we have the huda beauty which is the heavy duty girl this one's heavy duty and it has a bunch of fragrance so um girl i like this one is hard for me to use but at the same time i love it because it will make my makeup stay and then i have morphe here and some hydrating ones as well. Farsali, Too Faced, Tatcha. This one I haven't opened yet. Tatcha. And then I have um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I did declutter some of this as well. So this is like really good for me, you guys. Like this is really good because it was worse than this. Trust me. But because I've been getting new makeup and stuff, you know, I've been decluttering and just trying to... Um, cut down on the makeup so this is my little drawer um thing here this is like my jewelry box the jewelry is just strewn in here girl so <laughs> don't mind that but this is a real guild crest um i forgot what this is called but i got this at an estate sale and it's real amber glass you guys see that and it has like the little cute club feet like, this is one of these antiques. I really like stuff like this. I forgot what it's called. I'll put it on the screen, what it's called. My mind is drawing a blank right now because I'm just doing so much. But um, this is, oh, a filigree. I think that's what it's called, a filigree. So this is a authentic filigree. Like, and my old condo in San Diego before I got married, I had a bunch of, like, vintage things like this. I just find stuff like this so cute. And then inside it has, like, a tufted 
um, lining inside. It's just so cute. Like, when I get my house, it's going to be really gaudy and vintage-y like that. But, um, anyway, moving on. This is uh, where I keep all of my beauty blenders. And I hardly use beauty blenders, you guys. If you guys watch my makeup channel, you guys know, or my makeup uh, videos on <laughs> makeup channel, you guys know that I'm a brush girl, but I do have beauty blenders, too, or, um makeup sponges because not all of them are beauty blenders but makeup sponges just in case um these are majority of my brushes i showed you i had some on my bed because i'm getting them ready to take um some downstairs but these are uh some brushes here that are clean and washed and then these are brushes that are clean as well in this uh little clear thing that i got from amazon i believe a long time ago and then this just has like little drawers and it has little power puffs and things inside of there also okay so let's get to the drawers so just the two top drawers are um, all makeup these are like clothes but just the top two are makeup so far okay but that might change because I've been moving some of my clothes into the master bedroom so these start these drawers down here might also start to be makeup drawers but so let me open this one so this drawer specifically is dedicated to face powder so these are all of my face powders basically you guys like these are all been nice and just different types of face powders and setting powders because I also have the um NARS I mean not NARS uh what is it called uh hourglass ambient lighting I got a lot of those back there and I also have the palette back there as well so these are mostly face powders on this side so just an array of different face powders and then right here I have everything for brows and um eyelashes like all my mascaras all my um liquid brow colors and um just different mascaras here on this section here is all of my eye primers so eyeshadow primers this one by far you guys know this is my favorite my Sigma but now I've been using the P Louise I have like six of these different P Louise colors I have um, Anastasia Beverly Hills but this one is like super white so I only use this when I want to like make color and then I also use this as an eyeshadow primer this is from ColourPop it's actually a liquid eyeshadow but it dries down this nude color and it makes a really good base so I use that for base um, these are just more powders and then on this side these are all my liquid eyeshadows here because I don't have too many liquid eyeshadows so I put them all here I might need to declutter these because I feel like these are old and they probably don't have much in here um, over here is like all of the blushes girl I'm trying to show you guys these are like even though I still have some blushes in the big drawers that I showed you guys as well most of these are like blushes Oh, girl, and look at this. This is my old... Oh, do you guys remember this? The Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, kit that you can build? Oh, my God. Let me open it. It's kind of hard with one hand. But I want to open it to show you guys. I still have this kit. And then here are the refills for it. So remember these kits here were with Anastasia Beverly Hills before there was like a bunch of bronzers for the brown girls. She had a kit where you could like um, make your own. Girl, I still have mine and I still use them. So that's my kit. And I still have it. And I still have the refills, girl, okay? Because she still comes in handy. Even though I have so many different like bronzer palettes now. So this is mostly, mostly like... Um, blush though like i said so those are blush these are all blush you guys seen this this is the new um sephora this is my love struck palette blush these are like um cream blushes this is a bronzer i have this over here because i'm gonna show you guys the other drawer the other drawer has um most of the bronzers but it's getting like crowded so i had to move some stuff over here and like these are blushes here and these are like little blushes now these right here are lip pencils and eye pencils 
some of them are already downstairs in my studio so this is not all of them girl trust me <laughs> like there's a whole lot of them because I love lip pencils and eye pencils um let me move on to the next drawer here moving into the next drawer girl i am missing a knob right here do not talk about me girl okay because when we moved here from california um if anybody's a navy spouse you guys know that the navy has its own movers and they'll like move your stuff well when the navy moved our stuff girl they messed up my drawer and one of my knobs fell off girl i was so mad i was like come on like please stop so anyway this drawer right here has mostly, as you can see, my concealers, all of my lippies, which I need to go through and really declutter this. And it's all the way in the back, girl, look. Like, all the way in the back. Like, everything is completely filled. So, let me go through this with you guys. So, this is all of my lippies, all of my lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. You guys know I love liquid lipsticks. I only have a few regular lipsticks somewhere in there, but I'm a liquid lipstick girl. So, I use mostly liquid lipsticks. Um, this one I haven't opened yet because this is an extra Juvia's Place um, lip gloss from the Fumi times Juvia's Place collection. Girl, that new lipstick or um, lip gloss was my favorite. So, I bought like a bunch of them. So, I have one that I haven't even opened and hopefully it's still good. But, so right here is all of my concealers. Um, I have kind of, I put them kind of in order. So these are the Morphe 2. These are all of my LA Girl Pro concealers. I love these concealers. And then also I have bronzers and contours in these as well. Because they're just so cheap and easy. And I, I just love these so much. These are like kind of my first concealers that I ever started using when I um, started getting into makeup. Um, and then I have the NARS. I have ColourPop, Beauty Blender, Fenty, um, just some stuff from the beauty supply here. This one is Too Faced Tarte Shape Tape. And I have like the lip bar and a few back there. Over here is where most of my bronzers and highlighters are. And as you can see, it is so full. And that is the reason why I started moving them to the other drawer over there. So these are the cream version of my bronzers and contours like these um, and highlighters. These are like the cream ones, and um, this is a highlighter from Merit. These are from Morphe, and these are like the powders. Uh, these are more sticks. Um, this one is an hourglass foundation stick, but I use it as a bronzer. This is the color cappuccino, so that's why this one is here. I also have um, another high-end one, Lancome, and this is a foundation stick. Is this Lancome? Yeah, this is Lancome. This is a foundation stick, so the reason why it's not in my foundation area is because I use it as a bronzer, because so that one's over here as well. Fenty, these are all the powder ones, highlighters, Soul Body, Huda Beauty's Tan Tours. I have two of them, two different colors, and you guys see me use the Glowish. These are just more highlighters back here. These are all the Fenty highlighters, girl. I have like literally all the Fenty highlighters, like all the colors. Remember when she had all the crazy colors? Like the, um, when she first came out with Fenty Beauty, the blue and all that, girl. I have like all the originals, like I swear. And, um, just more high or bronzer palettes. Like here's the Morphe Glamour Bronze bronzer palette. Here's Juvia's Place down here. So that is how I store my makeup. It is actually in drawers <laughs> that are supposed to be for clothes in my house, girl. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! Happy night. Welcome to Have birthday. Where your every desire will be for real.